Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the power series. Today we will discuss about Taylor polynomial of order and myself Dr. Gar, working in the school of mathematics. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar, and the playlist Mathematics 1 where you can find the various videos on the power series, infinite series and many more. So what we have discussed in our last lecture, we have seen what is the Taylor series and what is the Maclaurian series about the point that is available here. Now in this lecture, we can extend this lecture to the Taylor polynomial. So firstly, we discuss the Taylor series. Now we can extend them to the Taylor polynomial and then we will see what are their merits. So first of all, what is the Taylor series? If you have a function f which with all the first with all the derivative order exists about the point a about the point or at the point x equal to a, then you can define the Taylor series as this one that means a function value a polynomial basically what is the purpose of the taylor series is you can express any of the function f of x in terms of the power series what is the meaning of the power series is you can express any of the function in terms of the x minus a raised to power n so you can say this is or you can say this is c so any of the function which can be written in the form of this polynomial we call as the power series so the purpose of this taylor series is to express any of the function fx in terms of power series. If you consider x as a 0, that is means if you consider particularly a as 0 in here, then we will define as a Maclaurian series. Now we will see what is the Taylor polynomial of order n. Look at the word is order is an important thing. Firstly, I will define the Taylor polynomial. The Taylor polynomial of order n generated by f about the point x equal to a is a polynomial which is denoted by p n like here. You can see that if you clearly see the difference between them here you can see this is an infinite series that will goes to the infinite part but the polynomial is ended up to the nth term. For example if you consider about the order 0 that is n is 0 so consider the first term only p f of a. If you consider p1, what is the meaning of the p1 is if you consider first f of a plus f dash a over 1 factorial x minus a. So this one will define up to this power 1 and the factorial. Similarly, if you define the x is order 2, we can say p2 f of a up to the order 2. Now the question arises is why we call as the order, why not is a degree. Can we say it's a degree or we can say the order? That's a major question. So that we call the Taylor polynomial of order n rather than the degree n. Why? So obvious question arises is why we call it as the order not for the degree? Because there are many cases in which f nth derivative that means this is the nth derivative of f may be 0. So for example, if I consider the Taylor series of the cos x here. So what will be my polynomial of order 0? What is the polynomial of order 1? It means this is my about the point 0. So this is my f0. This is my f0 plus f dash 0 over 1 factorial x minus 0. So clearly see that what is the value of the f0? This is my 1. So this is 1. What is the f dash? This is not the f dash. What is the f dash is? So you can see it's a minus of sin x. So what is the value of the minus sin x at the point 0? It's a 0. So it is again a 1. So you can see both the values are my 1. So what is the meaning of that? Can you say this is the first order has degree 0? Because you can see this is a polynomial of 1 x raised to power 0 plus 1 x raised to power 0. So that is it, it means the degree is a 0 but not the 1. That's why we will call, call as the order n, not degree. Because look at that, what is the degree of this polynomial? This is the one. What is the degree of this polynomial is? Is my 0. But it is not be here because it's a p1. So that's why we call as the order n. The Taylor polynomial is basically the linearization of the f and is provide the best linear approximation of in the neighborhood of a. Moreover, the higher order Taylor polynomials provide the best approximation to their respective degrees. What is the meaning of that? We will see with the help of examples like here. 
So find the Taylor polynomial of this function f of x of order 0, 1, 2. So whenever your target is to find the Taylor polynomial, your first target is to find the Taylor series. So is the Taylor series of this fx is given to you? No. So it means you, your first target is to find the Taylor series of fx about x is equal to 2. So that is the formula for the Taylor series. So how you can do that? What is the function is 1 by x. You can take the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative and so on. You can find all these derivatives and you can see the nth term is my here. About x is equal to about a you can find this function values which is here. Substitute this value here, substitute this value here and so on you will get this is the Taylor series of here. So once you know the Taylor series then only you can find the Taylor polynomial. So what is the Taylor polynomial of the P0? That is my f of 2. What is the Taylor polynomial of order 1? That is up to this and so on. What is the f of 2? It's my half. What is that? This is half. What is the f dash? That is a up to this term. This is my P1 of x. And this is my polynomial of degree of order 2 is my P2. If you find if, the, if you want to find the polynomial of degree 3, then you have to write up to the x cube that is my here. Look at the find the Taylor polynomial of the cos x again. The series is not given to you, so you have to firstly find the Taylor series. So you can derive that. That's a very common series of this. Now, based on this, you have to find the Taylor polynomial at x equal to 0, but it is not given to you what order they have to find. So if you closely look about that, what is that? 2n plus 1, that is my odd order. So clearly say that the value of the f dash, if you cos x is there, f dash is my sin x, f double dash is my minus cos x, f triple dash is my plus sin x, and so on. So what is the value at 0? This is my minus 1, sorry, this is my 0, f double dash is my minus 1, triple dash is my 0 and so on. So clearly says that f dash 0, cube 0 and fifth derivative 0 and so on. So all the odd powers are my 0. So what is the meaning of that? If you find find p2x for example and if you find the value of the p3, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of the pf? This is f0, f dash over 1 plus f double dash over 2. This is my fp2. What is the p3? So this value plus triple dash and here. But clearly say that this value is my 0. So what is the meaning of that? p2 and p3 are always same. Similarly, if you find the p3 and p4, they are always same. So what is the meaning of that? The Taylor polynomial of order 2n and 2n plus 1 are identical. So it means polynomial of degree 2n and 2n plus 1 identical which can be written like here. So what is the polynomial of degree of order 2n which can be written like here. What is the meaning of that? If you draw the graph of this, you can see what is the p0? What is the p0? That is a polynomial of degree order 1. That is a 1. So this is my straight line of the p0. What is my p1? What is my p1? So you can see what is the p1 is? That is my again 1. So this is again the line of the p1. So this is a p0 as well as p1. What is my p2? This is 1 minus x square over 2 factorial. So this is my x square over 2 factorial because it's a parabola. So it can be written like here. Similarly, if the p3, it's a 0. So p3 is a 0. So this is my p3 and so on. So clearly say that whenever as n approaches infinity, you can see this is not the polynomial. What is the graph of the cos x? It will be my this is the graph of the cos x. So clearly says that whenever you can see this yellow color is a p16, this is the p18. Whenever n approaches infinity, you can see this blue color will look like a graph of the cos x. That means this polynomial, the, this polynomial converges to the cos x as n approaches infinity. Look over the another one. You have to find the Taylor series of the ex. Find the Taylor polynomial of this and find the interval of convergence. So Taylor series you can easily find that. You can take the first derivative, second derivative and so on 
and about the point zero you can compute them substitute value here you will get the taylor series as this one how you can find the taylor polynomial of order 4 that means your targets to find the p4x so it means up to up to say this is g0 up to g of fourth derivative over 4 factorial x raised to power 4 r so this is it. remember that the number of the terms in the polynomials is my n plus 1 the number of the terms in the polynomial is why because of the first term also present this is the add the most terms are there this is the maximum term are there now you can hear what will happen if you draw the graph of this if you say p0 p1 and so on you can see what is that this is e raised to power x we all know the graph of the e raised to power x is my here this purple color this is my p1 what is the p1 is 1 plus x this is my p1 this is my p2 and so on so clearly says that whenever you have increased the value of p2 p3 and so on the graph will converges to the exponential function e raised to power x now how you can find but but what is the conclusion about that so you can see that taylor polynomial provide the best approximation to the respective degree why if you look about this polynomial 1 plus x that's a straight line that's the approximation of e raised to power x up to the first degree similarly this is the polynomial of degree 2 you can see and so on so the taylor polynomial provide the best approximation to the respective degree for example if you want to approximate this of the order 3 it means p3 is the best approximation among them so that this cubic polynomial will provide the best approximation to this function than any other cubic polynomial you may use some interpolation you may use some of the newton divided difference and so on you will get the polynomial as px but the polynomial which is given by the taylor series is the best one among the others how you find the interval of convergence you can find this a n plus 1 over a n so in this case this is my a n you can substitute this value here this is the ratio when it will be less than 1 then we can say it is convergence so you can find this value what will happen as of this so as n approaches infinity this will goes to the 0 so since 0 is my less than 1 so by the ratio test this function that is my e raised to power x is converges absolutely for all x so what is the open question for here in this question we can see this function converges for all the x but this is not always true for all these functions p so it means my questions are where does this taylor series converges because we show that it is a convergent so once it is a convergent then it converges to what point it converges to what and if it is converges then what will be the sum of this series if you find the sum of the series for what value of the x we can normally expect the taylor series to converge in this case it is for all x but in some other cases it may not be so what is the normally expectation value of the taylor series and the last question is how accurately do a function as we see if we consider this function we can approximate them we can approximate them up to the th third order polynomial of this as this is my third order polynomial 2 factorial plus here but how accurately these are there it means what is the error rate of the given functions so all these answer will give us a open questions and that we will cover in our next lectures called as the convergence of the taylor series called as error estimates Till then, you can simply try to solve these six questions and you can find the Taylor polynomial of order 0, 1, 2, 3 so that you can get the more practice. We will see the next lecture on the error estimates about the convergence of this Taylor series to get all these four answers in a very simple manner. You can simply follow this mathematics one playlist of the channel in Dr. Harishgar where you can find the various previous years videos. I hope you can like, share and comment my these videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.